Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Boxing Ego, I'm with the man, gold medalist, Mark Castro. Looking fly. Now, what brings you out from, we're, we're both from the West Coast, what brings you out here to snowy New York? I was in uh, Colorado Springs training at the Olympic training Oh, you at the Olympic training Yeah, I was there. Back there. So Back I just flew out here because I wanted to see it was a stack card and he wanted to the fight last night. I, I'm good friends with him and his family. Who, Connolly? Yeah. Oh, dope. Yeah. How do you know him? Uh, I met him in Russia when I was at the Youth World Championship and dad. Damn, you know everybody. Yeah, and then his dad, I finally met Michael. Like yesterday, he like introduced me. His, his dad introduced me, and we decided. Like, you didn't get to meet Connor? Uh, Connor, he, he was right there. I was trying to get to meet him, but he was just like right there. He was like, like, "You'll do nothing, Mark." Yeah, I was. I wanted to get a picture, but like sometimes you don't want to ask. But just, what do you think of Connor's debut? The atmosphere and then the the skills and the fight. I feel like it's the best pro debut ever. Yeah, it was like lit. Okay. He had Connor here and he had a place packed. And Somebody said he came down from the ceiling or something. Yeah, it came out from the top. And not from the ceiling, but like it came up from the like the arena. Outside. He had like an official ring walk. Yeah, That's he tight. had something crazy. He's like he's good. Uh, from Ireland, he has no country behind him. It's Definitely. Best. Now I gotta ask you about the the best fights tonight. Obviously, the co-main event and the main event. What do you think of the Chocolatito decision? Did you have Chocolatito winning or losing? And what do you think of Sora Rungvasai? Uh, I thought Chocolatito had won that fight, and um, I feel like he he should have like got a stoppage, like some some of them. He was just hitting him a lot, but I thought Chocolatito had got that win, that victory. Now, uh, do you think it was the the cut that was bothering him, the blood and the uh, leaking? Yeah, it was. Uh, it's always gonna bother you if you have like blood dripping on your face, but I think he still pulled it through and got that victory. But he had to do what he had to do, but judges didn't see it that way. Now, have you had any like? Oh shit moments or just any moments in, in combat where you just didn't feel weird, your leg went numb or anything like that? Uh, for me, uh, not really. It's uh, be a couple times where you get hit and then your mouth is like, gets out of place. I'm like, damn. And you have to just deal with it for that second? Yeah, you just gotta put it back in. in. Alright, Golovkin Jacobs, main event, great fight. Who'd you have winning and how'd you see just what do you think of both fighters? Uh, it's a good fight. Uh, Triple G uh, come out strong, but then they both had their moments. They're both around every now and then but I had triple G. Uh, not it was uh, maybe like eight or four. Eight or four but he got that and the extra knockout. He pulled out the victory. Dope. Now just being around these fights back to back, Conlin's fight and then this fight with uh, Golovkin, big boxing atmosphere. Yeah. How hungry does that make you for you to get a piece of the action? You know what I mean? First you have to obviously go to the 2020 Olympics, but just just being in these types of events. It makes me excited, uh, like anxious to turn pro, but I know there's like a road to me to take. I need to go to the Olympics and uh, try to uh, go see my, see my, make my potential out there and just go out there and just then turn pro. That's, that's the plan. And, then I'll have like a big pro debut, maybe like now I go comments. Now fighters live dedicated lives. Like you have to really dedicate. You're young. Yes. How old are you right now? I'm 17. 17, and you got to dedicate a lot. I mean, 2020 is yeah. a couple years away. So how do you stay as a young man? How do you stay focused, just knowing that? You could be great and do great things. Like obviously, the Olympic is a well, huge goal. The most goal. important thing is like to remain humble. And, uh, I'm a uh, big believer of God. Uh, I'm Christian, so it's always God, family, and boxing. And then to, to get 2020, it's like right around the corner. It may seem far, but those three years are gonna come by fast. And you just gotta, you just gotta keep remain humble and stuff. And just uh, the most important thing is to stay satisfied with your uh, accomplishments. You just gotta keep pushing. Definitely. Now, for the new fans, how do you define your style? Uh, my, new, my style, like, I, I know I said that Triple G with Terrence Carter, but I said, like, I have my own style. I come, uh, I adjust to my opponent, and just, I have an aggressive style. I'm a very aggressive fighter, and I just, like, 
sometimes you feel like you just got to go in the ring and just win. No matter if the other opponent is trying to look pretty or cute, just go in there and win. That's all it is. Now, where can the fans follow Mr. Castro? Uh, yes, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Mark the Boxer. That's Mark with a C, M-A-R-C, Mark the Boxer. Now, Shakur Stevens, he, did you see him? Yeah, He's here today. I, I, I seen him with uh, Richard Hitchens, Africa. I seen him say, what's up? I didn't recognize him because he had a beanie on. Oh, yeah, he's probably trying to stay low. He's a celebrity now. Yeah. Probably trying to stay. So that was cool, getting to meet him. Yeah. Do you know my dude, Gabe Flores? Yeah, I know. Yeah. We were staying at uh, my friend Marley's house, both of us. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I, I just ran into them. So tell them again what division you're in and where they can follow you, Mark uh, Castro. I'm in the Bantamweight division. Might be going up soon, 123, uh, 1718. Uh, follow me at Mark the Boxer. All right, we look forward to your journey, man. Yeah. Thank you.